Welcome. This is McClary's yoga class, where you just need a floor. I wouldn't wear socks if I were you today, and just comfortable clothing. So we're going to do a simple yoga class. We're going to start off with breath. We did a video before about breathing. Now we're going to breathe while we're you doing our yoga poses. So we're going to start off with a very simple one called butterfly breath. Your feet are a little bit of space between them, standing straight and tall in mountain pose. So bring your shoulders up to your ears, bring them back and down and face your palms out. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose and let it out slowly. Do that again, deep breath in and let it out slowly. Now this time we're gonna breathe in and raise our hands up to the sky. Breathe in, raise your hands up. Bring them together, breathe out, bring them to your chest. Stay here, breathe in. Interlace your fingers and breathe out as you bring them down. Breathe in, raise your arms up. Release them and breathe out. That is called butterfly breath. Let's try it one more time. Breathe in, hands together, breathe out, hands to heart. Interlace your fingers, breathe in. Breathe out as you raise your arms above your head. And breathe out. Standing straight and tall like a mountain. Now we're going to do a different breath. We're gonna breathe in. And we're going to bend over in our forward fold. We're just going to hang like a gorilla, going from side to side, stretching on our back and our spine. Feels really good on our spine. Let your head just dangle. Shake it from side to side. Then breathe in and reach up. And bring your hands to your heart. Can we do that one more time? Breathe in, reach up. And bring yourself down into gorilla. Hang here, out here for a little bit, breathing. And then reach your hands up. And back to your heart. Now we're going to come down onto our hands and knees. Watch. So I'm going to come down onto my knees. And then I'm going to put my hands out in front of me, place them on the ground. My hands are underneath my shoulders. They're not way out here, and they're not way in here. They're underneath my shoulders. And my hips are right underneath my knees, making a straight line. So you have a nice flat back, which is called a table, okay? So we're gonna stay here, we're gonna tuck our toes, and we're gonna take a deep breath in. Then we're gonna let it out. Now this time when we breathe in, we're going to push into our hands and arch your back up and drop our head like this. Let's try that now. Breathe in. And breathe out. Try it again. Breathe in. And breathe out. This time we're going to add a cow, which is when you drop your belly to the ground, you look up with your eyes and sort of pull your bottom up to the sky like this. So we're going to breathe into cat, breathe into cat, and breathe out to cow. One more time, breathe into cow, breathe out to cow. Now stand up on your knees with your hands on your hips. We're going to put one leg in front. We're going to make sure our knee is right underneath our ankle. And our other foot is back here and the toes are tucked. So I'm going to show you this sideways. See? My toes are tucked. My knee is over my ankle. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to take a deep breath in, reach up. Then we're going to look up at that beautiful sky and breathe out. Push your feet into the ground so you don't wobble. Breathe in, reach up, and then come down. So when we come down, we're going to put this hand on our knee, the other hand on the ground. Then we're going to reach up to the sky with this hand that's on our knee. Breathe in. Hold it up there. 
Breathe out. Breathe in, reach a little higher. Breathe out, bring it down. And come back to your hands on your hips. Take that leg back and switch to the other leg in front. Breathe in. Reach out. Breathe in, reach higher. Breathe out. Hands down, one on the knee, one on the ground. Breathe in, reach up. Breathe out. Breathe in, reach higher. Breathe out, put your head on your knee, come up. Both hands on your hips and your knees together. Now we're gonna go back to table. Remember your table like this. And this time, we're gonna reach our feet back, tuck our toes, and we're making a stick or a plank. Some people call it stick pose, some people call it plank. So hold it, you gotta suck your belly in, push into your toes, take a deep breath in, and hold it. Now we're gonna put our knees down, and we're gonna bend our elbows, keep them by our side, and put our belly onto the ground. Now we're going to do something called cobra. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders, take a deep breath in, and you push yourself up, and then when you breathe out, go down. Two more times, breathe in, and breathe out. One more time, breathe in, and breathe out. This time, tuck your toes, push yourself onto your knees. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to a plank again, see this? And now we're gonna push, push, push into our arms, push our head between our arms, and push our heels toward the ground if we can. You can always move our feet in a little bit, back a little bit. This is called a downward dog. So push, push, push into your hands, straight arms, straight legs. Let your head dangle, just let it relax. You are in a downward dog. Oh, don't forget your breathing. Now try this. Take a deep breath in. And as you go out, go back into your plank pose. Wow, that feels good. Now push into your hands, raise your bottom up to the sky, push yourself into downward dog pose. It's fun to do a couple of times. Up onto your toes, then go forward and push back. Excellent. Now try this. Take your feet, go up onto your toes, and jump your hands, feet to your hands, just like that, and dangle like a gorilla. Breathe in, reach up, and bring your hands to your heart. Good job. Now we're going to try some balancing poses. Who remembers tree pose? At the tree pose, you need a strong legs. So you gotta push those feet into the ground. The next most important thing is your eyes need to be on a point. So you might be looking at me on the computer, that's fine. But you need to be looking at something that's not moving. Put your hands on your hips to ground yourself. You come up onto your toes. Put your knee out a little bit. And to become a tree, there's several places you can put your foot. You can keep your toes on the ground and put your toes on your ankle. And this makes a really good tree. And you can look up at the sky or look at your point straight ahead of you that will keep you from tipping and falling. Hands on your hips. If you feel okay there, you can try lifting your foot up onto your shin. And you're gonna feel a bit wobbly, and that's okay. If you keep looking at a point, keep looking. And then when you feel like you're a little more stable, you can try reaching your arms up. If you feel like you're gonna fall, put your foot down, it's okay. Keep looking at your point and try it again. For those people who feel like you're pretty stable today, you can try lifting your legs up above your knee, never on your knee. Oops, I feel like I'm gonna fall, so I'm gonna put myself down. I'm gonna try it again. There we go. And try that. Put your hands at your heart first. Remember to breathe because your muscles need oxygen. You feel like you want to re reach your tree branches up? You can. <clears throat> Hold it for a little while. 
See how you do. Play around with it. When you're ready, bring your hands to your heart and put your foot down. Go back to your mountain pose, pushing your feet into your ground. Now, for the next pose, we're going to take that same foot that we used for our tree, and we're going to step it back. It's going to point out on an angle, a little bit of an angle, and your front foot is pointing straight ahead, and your knee is going to come right above your ankle. So I'll show it to you this way. Ready? See, so your knee is right above your ankle, and your other foot is on the ground. Now, I'm turning towards you, but now I'm going to turn towards my knee. So you want to be pointing your whole body towards your knee, like this. Then you're going to reach in and up. Take a deep breath in and breathe it out. You are a warrior. This is warrior one. Breathe in and breathe out. Let your shoulders relax. Reach your fingers up to the sky. Look up to the sky. Push your feet into the ground. Be strong. And then when you're done, put your hands to your hips. We're going to make a slight change with our back foot. We're going to turn it sideways. See that? Turned it sideways. This foot is, this leg and this foot is going to stay the same. But now we're in warrior two. And to do that, we're going to take our hips and turn them sideways. Okay, they turn them sideways. And we're going to look front, put our arm up front, and the other arm goes straight back. So we're going to look over our fingers. We're going to make sure, like last time, remember, our knees right over our ankle. We're going to look over our fingers and take a deep breath. Because breath is so powerful. And hold it. Now you should be pushing the back foot into the ground and the front foot into the ground. Sucking your belly in. Holding straight and strong. This is warrior two. How are you doing? If you feel good, you can even close your eyes. And put your hands on your hips. Step your feet together. We're going to do one more pose in our warrior two. We're going to go back to warrior two. We're going to change it into a triangle pose. So in your warrior two position, we're going to straighten the front leg. So I'm going to do it this way so you can see. Remember, I was in warrior two like this. I'm going to straighten my front leg, hands on my hips. I'm still pointing this way. I'm going to reach my arms out like I was in warrior two. Now, take my hip and point it out, stick it out. I'm going to reach, reach, reach with this hand. Reach. And I'm going to try and land it on my shin. The other hand goes straight up, so I make one long line. This is triangle. And I can even look up at my fingers and wiggle them and wave at them. And I need to take some oxygen in there and make myself strong. Breathe in. If you feel tippy, push your feet into the ground. They're going to make you strong. Hands on your hips. Bring yourself back up. Step and stand. Nice and tall and strong. Hands by your side. Take a deep breath in. Raise your arms up and bring your own hands down. Now we have to do the same thing on the other side. So push this foot into the ground. We're going to do our tree. Hands on your hips. Put, your, put it in the same spot you did last time. Is it your ankle? Was it your shin? Or did you go above your knee? Your choice. Put it there and hold it. Take a deep breath in. Look at a spot. Don't move. If you feel like you're going to fall out, just let your foot go down. It's okay. Put your hands on your hips and put your foot down. Step the other foot forward. <coughs> Bend your knee like we did last time. Right? And your other foot is in an angle. This is warrior one. We're going to turn our hips towards our knee. Ready? Breathe in. Reach up. Breathe out. Push your feet into the ground. Breathe in, reach up. And breathe out. Brave, strong warriors. Hands in your hips. So you're going to take that back foot and turn it sideways. You're still going to be bending over the seat, but this one is now sideways. Now you're going to take your hips and you're going to turn them this way. So I'm going to do it over here for you so you can see. Turn your hips towards the side now. Reach your arms up. Look over your front hand. 
bend into your front knee. Look over your fingers, take a deep breath in, and breathe out. Push into your feet again, suck your belly in, breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, put your hands on your hips and straighten your front knee. Now we're going to let this hip drop, reach your arms up, pull, pull, pull this arm forward, reach, reach, reach down as far as you can go to your shin, lift the other arm up, look up at the sky, take a deep breath in, and breathe out. Deep breath in, and breathe out. Push your feet into the ground, reach up, hands on your hips, bring your feet together. You can even do this, try this. Jump your feet together, excellent. Now at the top of your mat, you're gonna spread your feet wide, bring your hands to your heart, and bend your knees so your bottoms reaches down towards the ground. Reach, 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 maybe a little lower, maybe a little lower, maybe you can go all the way wherever you are. This is a yoga sport. Can you stay in this position? Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now come onto your hands and knees. And you're going to keep your knees together. Keep your knees together. You're going to sit back on your heels. You're going to walk your hands forward. And you're going to put your head on the ground into child's pose like this. While you're in child's pose, you're going to take your deep breaths in and your deep breaths out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Just relax right into the ground. Close your eyes. Close your eyes and enjoy this very calm, quiet pose. Come back to table and come to sitting on your bottom. What you're going to do now is you're going to lay back on your back and raise your knees up to the sky. Put your arms out to the sides. Rest your head on the ground. Bend your knees. Now you're going to take your knees and put them together and let them both drop to one side. This is a twist. Your head can look at your knees or your head can turn and look the other way and feel you twisting your spine. It feels so good. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Stay here for a little bit. Feel your body relax into the pose. Raise your knees up. You have to drop them now to the other side, you can drop to the other side. Look the same way as your knees or the other way. And just relax, take some deep breaths in. And now let your body just sink into the ground, relaxed, peaceful, and calm. Raise your knees up. We're going to go into our final pose. So this is what I'd like you to do. Listen very carefully. We're going to be on the ground, so I'm going to let you see me on the ground. What we're going to do is we're going to go to Shavasana or resting pose. And how we do this is we let our legs drop in front of us. We just let the toes flop up. See how many toes are flopped in? And they're just relaxed. I'm not tensing them up or moving them around. They're just flopping out and relaxed. And then I'm going to make myself go down. My head will go down and my arms will face up. And I'll just place them 
on the ground like this. This is called Shavasana. And then when I'm ready, I can close my eyes. And when I close my eyes, I'm going to feel really peaceful and calm because I'm just going to take some deep breaths in. So my belly will rise up and then I will breathe out. Take a few of those deep breath in and breathe out. Just stay there, breathing in deeply and calm, keeping your arms closed. Don't open your eyes, just relax. Will you stay there lying on the back? I'm going to read you <clears throat> a special thing that I want you to see if you can imagine in your head. So stay on your back and listen to this. Imagine that you are sending love to yourself. Send a valentine that says, I love you. Can you see yourself doing that? Now I want you to tell each part of your body that you love it. So your feet. Say I love you to your feet. You can do that in your head and just notice your feet laying there quietly and still. Now your legs. Feel how calm and still they are. Say I love you to your legs. Now your belly going in and out as you breathe. Say I love you to your belly. Now your back relaxed and strong laying on the ground. Say I love you to your back. Now your arms flopped down on the ground. Say, I love you, arms. And now your face, calm and peaceful with your eyes closed. Say, I love you, face. Notice how your body feels when you tell it that you love it. Now, think of someone you love very much, maybe someone in your family or your best friend. See them in your head. Now, I want you to imagine that you're sending that person some love. Now, think of someone who you think is mean and not very friendly, but you know what? They need love too. So see that person in your head and send them some love too. Sometimes people are mean because they don't feel loved. So make sure they get that love. Send them some extra love. Now think of the people all over the world. All the people everywhere. Send them all the love you can. See the love going everywhere from your heart to them. Now imagine all these people you've sent love to. And now imagine that each of these people sends love back to you. Can you feel their love coming right back to you? Resting peacefully with that feeling of love inside you. Breathing, feeling calm and relaxed. How do you feel now? When you're ready, you're going to wiggle your little toes, wiggle, 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 wiggle your little hands, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Push yourself up to sit in. Legs crossed, hands in your lap, hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. I send my love to you as you have sent it to others. There's a word we use in yoga. It is called namaste. Namaste means I see the light in you and you see the light in me. That is who we are. And I honor that light that's in you and share my love with you. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed your yoga practice. Keep practicing. Play this video many times over and over if you wish. Take care and I'll see you soon.